when you go to an NBA game, water is like five dollars. When you go to Dollar Tree, water is a dollar. So just think about it. The value is different. When you're at Dollar Tree, the value of water is not that high. But when you're at that NBA game or when you're at that MLB game, the value of water is high. Because you need it. So same thing with confidence, man. You need it. That's your value. Never allow anyone's insecurity to affect your confidence. Always remember, man, just because someone struggles with that, don't let that affect you, man. That's a sign for their life, not yours. Do not take it personal. That's always saying that someone else is struggling and they just don't like to see you doing what you're doing because they can't see themselves doing that themselves. So don't ever, don't ever, ever, ever in your life take that to the heart and think that, man, maybe you you just broadcasting yourself too much. Maybe you're too loud. Nah, man. You're moving at the beat of your own drum, but someone else cannot walk that walk. So now they feel offended by you. It's just that simple, man. So don't ever in your life think that you got to dim your light to shine light on others. If you all can't shine together, man, so be it. But don't never dim your light. Ever. Look, man, your confidence is your power. If anyone in the world allows other people to influence them negatively, that's their fault. That's their fault. Anytime you allow others doubt to influence you, you weaken your power. So like I just said, your confidence is your power. So don't ever, 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 ever let anyone break your confidence. Keep your confidence up no matter what, man. No matter what, you should keep your confidence up, sky high. You are unique, man. You create your value. Your value is something that you create for yourself. You ever thought about it, man? Look, when you go to an NBA game, water is like $5. When you go to Dollar Tree, water is a dollar. So just think about it. The value is different. When you're at Dollar Tree, the value of water is not that high. But when you're at that NBA game or when you're at that MLB game, the value of water is high. Because you need it. So same thing with confidence, man. You need it. That's your value. Just think about what I just said. You need it. That's your value. You dictate your value. You control your prices. Yesterday's prices should not be today's prices anyway. You control that aspect of your life. So don't ever feel bad for holding yourself to a higher standard than other people will hold for themselves. That's not your fault. Is that really your fault? No, not at all. Insecurity is often rooted in fear, man, by the way. It's not really in reality. But it's in fear. So stay grounded in your truth no matter what. It's okay to, you know, fear the unknown, but embrace it as well. I just talked about that in the last video. In one of the last videos, I just talked about that. Embrace it. Be a role model for others as well, man. Think about it. It's some people not out there that's not as confident as you. So you want to be able to help those people succeed in life too. So if you can... If they're willing to allow you to help them, be a role model for them, man. Show them that confidence is not negative, but it's just simply about embracing who you are as a person. So that's all I'm saying. Everyone should have it because all you're doing is embracing yourself, man. We are all individuals. Embrace yourself, man. Love yourself. Who else is going to do it if you don't do it? So just remember that your worth is inevitable. At the end of the day, you should have some type of worth. So it's up to you to control your worth, though. Whether you feel that you are worth a billion, whether you feel that you're worth, uh, worth a hundred, it's up to you. You can't control others either, man. So if someone has negative feelings about you, okay, tell them beat it. But just don't simply don't care, man. You can't control how their insecurity affects them, man. And don't let it affect you either.
Don't ever let it affect you, man. So look, everything we doing is personal for us. Like I just said, we're individuals. Your success is personal. It's not about anyone else. It's about you. You control your success at all times. Always remember that. You control your success. No one else should dictate your success ever. It's about your growth and personal journey. It's about your growth and personal journey. Not anyone else's perspective. Erase that out your memory now. People project their own fears onto you. So if you started that business because they didn't have that courage to start that business, they say, oh, no, I don't start it, man. That business is not successful. Okay. Well, let it not be successful. Who are you to tell me what can be successful or not? I appreciate your opinion. I really appreciate it. But I don't need that negativity around me because the only thing I know is to see you. That's the way my confidence is. It's no going back. It's no plan B. It's only a plan A, and we're going to execute plan A to the fullest. Think about it. If you don't give something your all, how do you know if it's going to work? If you go into something with doubt and fear, you're basically telling yourself that you have no chance, so you're not really giving yourself a fair shot anyway. So give yourself that fair chance, man. Always give yourself that fair chance. That confidence is contagious. You ever walked in a room smiling? Just, you know, like, man, you're in here to dominate, man. That stuff is contagious. That makes you affect everyone else in the room for the better. When you stay true to yourself, man, you inspire others to do the same. So always stay true to yourself no matter what. Everyone has insecurities. But don't let that define you or your abilities to do something ever in your life. Don't ever let that do that, man. Because you got to remember, when you have compassion... When you have compassion, that can be the thief of joy sometimes. So don't let other struggles make you doubt your path, man. Have compassion, but look, don't let it affect you, man. Try to help everyone, but sometimes you can't help everyone. That's just a hard truth. Try to, but sometimes you can't. So be willing to accept that. Remember, your peace is non-negotiable. You should always be able to have peace within yourself in your life. Why not? It's your life. You don't need stress in your life. I mean, it affects everything in your life. Being a parent, being a child, being a brother, being professional in your workplace. That affects everything. Everything. So look, protect it by staying confident in your worth. Protect that peace, man. Look. You cannot pour from an empty cup. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Like I said, you can't help somebody if you're empty yourself. So you get yourself right. And then you help others. If you are tired of your friends, your siblings feeling down, try to help them. What better way to help them by, than by them seeing you do something great? Now that's contagious. Now you're motivating them to do the same thing, if not better. So remember... Do that because you don't want insecurity to lead to jealousy. So don't let someone else envy make you question your success ever, man, because somebody else is feeling jealous. They feeling like, why not them? Like I said in another video, we had the same 24 hours. It's all about how you use your time. Do you use your time wisely? Or are you on Facebook watching a live for 30 minutes out of your 24 hours that you're given? That's half an hour. We only got 24 that's not a lot. You sleep about eight of them. So then, think about it. You sleep about eight. Some of us work eight, if not more. Eight plus eight is 16 minus 20. That's only eight. That's only eight. So we don't have that much time like we think we do. We really do not. We really do not. We really do not. The world needs for you to be authentic. Keep being identity. Don't shrink to fit someone else's standards ever in your life, man. Be you, be great, be legendary. Be you, be great, be legendary. You need to constantly evolve to be better for you, yourself, your future, your kids, your family, everyone that's directly affected. 
Be you, be great, be legendary. Continue to evolve. Confidence. Confidence in who you are is magnetic, man. I just said it's contagious. But people are also drawn to you as well. So that's why I said it's magnetic. Because think about it, when you're being authentic and you have that strength, who doesn't want to be around you? Who doesn't want to get in with you? Everyone wants to get in with you. So remember that the last two, you can't please everyone. I hate to tell you, but you cannot please everyone. It's just not possible, and that's okay. Stay true to yourself regardless of what's going on. The most legendary people in the history had to believe in themselves, man. So remember, don't ever stop believing in yourself because if you want to be legendary too, you got to believe in yourself, and you can do it, bro. You can do it, sis. You got it, young man. You got it. You got it. You got it, man. See y'all next time. Doubter family, I'm out. Be confident, be great. Let's do it, baby. 3BC Nation.